Who's ready for an adventure? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, everyone. We are so excited. Guys, we are absolutely stoked. But first, let's just say <laughs> welcome everyone. Hello. Oh, hola. Oh, um, bonjour. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, hello. <laughs> I actually don't know how to do that one very well. <laughs> it's hello. Hello. <laughs> and finally, hello. <laughs> you guys see what we just did right there? There's so that might be a little bit of tidbit of information, <laughs> little hints right there of where we are going. <laughs> we are so excited. Oh my goodness, this is going to be the biggest adventure I think we've ever been on. Yeah, it's going to be. I'm getting goosebumps right now, literally just thinking about it. It's going to be awesome. First of all, welcome back to our channel, you guys. We absolutely love you. We're going to tell you where we're going here in just a second, but for right now we decided to open up the video out here in beautiful Florida we're at Finn's favorite area it's the park you can probably hear the birds chirping <laughs> it was such a beautiful day we're like you know what let's go open up the video this is such an exciting video and we cannot wait to tell you where we're all going and if you don't have any idea what we're talking about in our previous video we mentioned we're gonna be taking a trip of a lifetime, definitely a bucket list. A hundred percent a bucket list trip. Type of trip for This Jared is gonna be I. awesome. And we dropped a few hints in our last video saying that places that we're going, some of the places Brittany and I have actually been to separately, but never together. And then a lot of the other places we've never been to at all. Oh, you guys, <laughs> we are gonna be gone for 17 days. 17, <laughs> that is a long time. That is a long time. <laughs> and one other thing, we are not gonna be alone on this trip either. No. Which we will get into that in a separate video. <laughs> But we could not be more excited. We know you guys are gonna love who we are going with. It's just, it's honestly gonna be the most special trip ever. Plus it's gonna be adventure packed. The sights, the sounds, <laughs> the languages. It's gonna be amazing. So in our last video, we asked you guys to guess where you thought we were going. And I have to say, so many of you got a lot of the places right. Yeah, there was actually one of you that got like, I would say like 95% of it right. Yes, you guys, you guys know us too well. But this is, I kind of want to call it like a two-parter trip. Yeah. Because there's two big, big aspects to this. Massive. So the trip is going to start off in a very big way. Huge. You are going to need <laughs> your passport. So make sure if it's expired, go get it. We're going to need it. Go get, get it, it renewed. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, this is a place I've been once uh, over 15 years ago. I've been here also once about five years ago or so, and I was only there for about a day and a half. So Jared, I have a question for you. Do you have a beret? I do not. Well, you're gonna need to get one, baby, because <laughs> we're going to Paris. Paris, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are starting things off in Paris, you guys. We, we, and for any of you that I know, I hope that was we're right. Americans. <laughs> we we're, don't know. We're gonna bot all the language, but we could not be more excited. Guys, Paris, the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, the oh arcs. Gosh all this amazing cool stuff. We're gonna take you guys there. We're gonna show you the best parts of what things to do there, oh, places to stay, the neighborhoods to stay, Yes. everything. The food, all of it. We are gonna yeah. soak it all in. <laughs> now we are only there, it's about three days. So three days. not a super long time, but enough to take in the sights. We're actually starting things there to help with our jet lag because That's as right. you know, when you travel across the country, it's gonna be about an eight hour time change, I believe. Yep. And so we definitely wanted to start things off in a place we could kind of just take it easy. Sit back, relax, and since we've both been there before, we kind of know the area fairly well enough. And luckily, a lot of the sites are really close by. But we want to hear from you as we are putting together these itineraries. What yeah. are the must-see things, in your opinion, for Paris? Comment down below. Let us know, like, maybe any secrets or things you say let's go there for sure now obviously i said the eiffel tower but that's not the only place we are going and i cannot wait just to go <laughs> sit and see just the life in paris i feel like it's just a slower pace there see yeah. the cafe see all the beautiful gardens we're the gonna Louvre. do something we have never done before there and it's gonna be pretty darn oh incredible. my gosh you guys <laughs> anyways we are so excited so paris is number one on this j b bucket list trip after paris you guys our next destination is a bit more tropical there. a little bit more coastal palm trees let's just say it is known <laughs> for the nightlife the tapas, the paella, beautiful architecture all around the city. Yes. One of which is still under construction and has been under construction for a very long time. Destination two is, drum roll, 
<laughs> Barcelona, Spain, everyone. Hola. <laughs> oh my gosh, we could not be more excited to go to Spain. We have never been to Spain. We have never been to Spain. We've never been to Barcelona, obviously, but like we have always seen it. It's always been a bucket list item and we've always wanted to go there because there is so many historical sites to see there. That church that I was actually speaking about is still under construction. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's known for so much architecture. Just the, the food there I've heard is incredibly delicious. The city from what we can tell just looks amazing. You're obviously yeah. right on the ocean right there <laughs> and we are just so excited to go explore that city. Obviously, as we mentioned, it's our first time. So let us know all the must do and sees and tips for Barcelona. You. We do have our first hotel booked there, but let yep. us know kind of the areas you would suggest seeing. So we are actually staying in an area called the Gothic Quarter, Ooh. which is this really old historic part of the city. If you just Google it, it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's out of a movie. Like we yeah. cannot wait to go explore that. All right, but here's the thing. We are only gonna be in Barcelona. For one day. One day. And babe, why is that? Uh, I don't know if this is any indication of why we may be going there. So what is our absolute favorite way to travel? Our absolute favorite. If any of you guys have been on our channel for like any time, you guys know we have one way of travel that we absolutely love. And it has been a few years since we have traveled this yeah. way, you guys. Let's just say Jared is gonna have to dust off yeah, yeah. the white outfit. The all white outfit I got. The hat, everything, <laughs> because... Guys, we are going on a cruise! No, not any cruise. A Mediterranean cruise. A Mediterranean cruise. Oh my gosh. Oh. Guys, we could not be more excited for this. It's going to be absolutely amazing. That is right. <laughs> we are hopping on a Mediterranean cruise in Barcelona for the next eight days. Eight days days and guys the spots we are going to are going to be incredible we're going to get to that here in a second but Brittany uh what cruise ship are we going on hmm. now we are going to be boarding a very special cruise ship it is very memorable to Brittany and I for one reason let's just say <laughs> so we've actually never videoed on this ship never we are going on Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas <laughs> which happens to be the very first cruise ship I have ever been on we actually went on it on our honeymoon, which our is honeymoon. crazy. Eight years ago, almost to the day. Yeah, so as you know, our anniversary is actually in May, so we'll be celebrating. <laughs> this is kind of a big celebration of it is. many, many things, which more to come on that. But the ship, you guys, it is massive. There is so much to do on this ship. It was actually refurbished a few years back. Yeah. So we cannot wait. It looks wait. like brands bacon new. Oh yeah, we can't wait to see all that's new. Of course, we love Royal Caribbean. We've done so many of their cruises, the big Oasis Clap ships. They have the park. They got the flow riders. They have the water shows up. They back. got the water slides. They got the rock climbing walls. I mean, they got everything. Now, as you guys know, we absolutely love cruising, but we just think it is going to be such a fun way to get around the Mediterranean, not only seeing kind of the landscape and everything, but then on our days off from the destinations, we get to just enjoy the ship and we will show you every single part of that. Our first port of call <laughs> is a place we have never been. No. Nope. From what we hear, it's one of the top destinations in the Mediterranean. It is known for its insanely crystal clear waters, its beautiful city, amazing landscape. Oh, just the lifestyle, the little villages. It is Mallorca, Spain. <laughs> Guys, we're going to Mallorca, Spain for our very first cruise port in the Mediterranean. Oh my gosh, there are cathedrals, there is just so much history there we cannot <laughs> wait to go explore that so Jared's sister Michelle and her husband Daniel actually went there on their eight-month adventure when they were traveling and they said it was one of their most favorite destinations they ever went to yes so we cannot <laughs> wait to go explore that place like we said since it's our first time let us know any things you recommend with Mallorca or suggestions we would love to hear it all day two is actually a day at sea so we are gonna be <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously. I really was hoping I didn't step off the dock right here. But it's a day at sea, so we're going to be able to relax. Obviously, we're going to be go, go, going on this cruise. So day at seas are going to be awesome just to enjoy the Mediterranean, enjoy everything the ship has to offer. We're definitely going to need to rest up because day three of the cruise is a big one. Whoa! <laughs> why, Brittany, why are we leaning? Because 
Day four is Pisa, baby. <laughs> Guys, we are going to the Leaning Tower of Pisa, in oh! case you didn't catch that reference. <laughs> AKA Florence, Italy is day number four. It is our first day in Italy. Guys, we cannot be more stoked for this. We have looked at so many different excursions and we are really excited for the ones that we have chosen. Oh my gosh, you guys. We are <laughs> gonna be exploring, of course, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which we cannot wait to yes. see in person. We have never been to this part of Italy before and we hear it is breathtaking. Obviously, the history, the sights, but we're not only just seeing Pisa. Oh, no, no, no. We're also going to another destination that is incredible. <sighs> You guys, the second part of the day is a place I have always dreamed of seeing. It's this, gonna be incredible. This, this little pink wall might be a little bit of a hint. So we are going to explore the beautiful, colorful hillsides of Cinque Terre. <laughs> I think I'm pronouncing that right. Guys, if you look at this place, it looks absolutely breathtaking and we cannot wait to show you guys all of it. Oh my gosh, the picturesque little villages set on the cliffs with the Mediterranean. Right? We're gonna be walking in the little streets. I, oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> Day five is Rome, Italy, everyone. <laughs> that is right. We are going to the Colosseum. See that Roman Empire, which that is honestly like, I can't even oh think my gosh. of all we're the gonna, history and everything We're there. gonna see that, we're gonna see the Vatican, we're gonna see it all and we could not be more stoked. Michelangelo, Sistine Chapel, we're packing <laughs> it all in. We actually have an excursion book that is 10 hours that day. 10 hours long. So it's gonna be an all day packed adventure. And it is Jared and I's first time to Rome, <laughs> which we hear so many amazing things. Obviously the history there is just something you can't miss. Yeah, of course, 100%. So that is why we are just chalking it full, packing it. We are gonna need our good walking shoes that day. Yes. It is gonna be a long but incredible, incredible day. So let us know anything Rome that you suggest any must-see sites besides the ones that we mentioned. But yeah, so far we're gonna be seeing the Colosseum, as Jared said, the Vatican, walk around there, the Sistine Chapel, and a few other things. Day six, let's just say we hope you brought your appetite <laughs> because we are going to the location of pizza, of pasta. Literally where they invented pizza. We cannot <laughs> wait. Oh my gosh. Day six is none other than Naples, Italy, everyone. <laughs> but not only are we seeing Naples, we are venturing out to some of the most beautiful Mediterranean cities on the coast, starting with Sorrento. We're gonna be seeing Positano and the Amalfi Coast. Oh like, guys, we cannot, oh my gosh, the whole trip is gonna be amazing. Like we are so stoked for all of the places we're going, but this place in particular, we are very excited oh about. Oh my gosh, yes. Bring it, we're gonna be photographing. <laughs> I can't wait just to take in the sights, yeah. the food, obviously. <laughs> so yes, day six is Naples, Italy. That is gonna be quite the adventure. Oh, are you guys tired yet? <laughs> I'm tired. I think I need a day of rest. <laughs> so day seven is another day at sea. After all of that sightseeing, I know we are gonna be desperately, desperately wanting that. So we have a 10 hour excursion backed by like another eight hour excursion. And before that, it's like a four or six hour excursion. Yes, you guys, this trip, as I mentioned, <laughs> it's not gonna be a trip for the week. So we are gonna love relaxing on the beautiful oasis of the seas right before it comes back into port to Barcelona. Day eight has come and it is time to say adios to <laughs> our <was> cruise life. <laughs> we are back in Barcelona. We have one more full day to explore the beautiful city of Barcelona. So we'll get to see more of the sights there. We actually spend the night before yes. we are gonna be jumping on an airplane to our next destination. And where we're going, we're gonna be kind of like up in the mountains a little bit, and we're gonna be practicing our yodel hee hoo. Woo -hoo! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was terrible. Yeah, but it's okay. We'll practice that. But as you might have guessed, the next five days we will be spending in none other than the beautiful country of Switzerland. Switzerland. <laughs> Guys, oh. we are so stoked for this. I am actually very excited about this because. Brittany actually used to live there when she was a nanny long ago. I have never been there before. But it has been 16 years since I lived in Switzerland. 16 years. So a very long time. 
Now, here's the thing. We This is where we're gonna need your help. Listen up, anyone who has ever been to Switzerland before, we need your help. Or that lives in Switzerland, because I know some of yes. you guys live there. I've seen it in our comments before, mentioning if you ever come back to Switzerland, let us know. So we have five days to explore the beautiful country of Switzerland. There is so much to see. So much like, to see. So much to see. You could see. spend like a month there, oh. and a year there, and not hit everything. Yes, everything <laughs> from the Alps. You have the beautiful lakes, the mountains, the pastures, the villages, the chocolate, the fondue, all the fun stuff. Fondue, I can't wait. <laughs> so please comment down below any areas you definitely recommend seeing. We have a few in mind right now, but we definitely kind of want a home base and then we'll be taking trains and things yeah. around. But we can't wait. We definitely want to tone this one down, make this more of a relaxing part of the vacation. We're going to be coming off of an extremely like thorough cruise. Yes, but that doesn't mean we're definitely going to want to go venture out, see the sights, oh, but just 100%. more relaxed, you know. We're going to go way. see some of those waterfalls that just come off a cliff and just dissipate. Oh my gosh. It is going to be the most incredible 17 days. We are so grateful we're able to do this. <laughs> this is going to be, this has just been something that we have been looking forward to ever since it kind of got planned and we will get into all of that with who we are going with. So stay tuned for that. Also comment down below who you think we're going with <laughs> yeah. as well. That's going to be coming up here soon and you will see why it's going to be extra, extra special. So now do you guys see why we have been <laughs> so excited to share this with all of you? We cannot wait to bring you along for all the adventure. We got a lot of packing to do. We got a lot of packing Fun. tips we'll share. I've been researching a ton because obviously it's going to take a lot. We're going to lots of very different places. Plus you guys know we've traveled a bunch before in the past. We've done a lot of cruises in the past. So we're going to be sharing all of those tips plus additional ones we learned along the way. This is going to be a trip of a lifetime and we just can't wait to share it with all of you. So <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that like button. Let us know any questions you have. And you guys, we only have a few more weeks to get ready. So we hope you're <laughs> as excited as we are. And with that, we're going to go ahead and close out today's video and we will see you all next time. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.